Hello, everyone. Welcome to Mech Spotlight. Today, we're going to talk about the latest mech to enter the arena, Bastion. Okay, let's start from the beginning. What can a Bastion do for my team? Well, as you'd expect from a legendary tank, it's extremely durable. With a max HP of 142,400, it can take a lot of punishment. Wow, not even Brick House has that much. Yep, it's tough. It has a maximum energy capacity of 24, which means you can equip some serious weapons and dish out plenty of damage. And despite the heft, Bastion isn't the most cumbersome mech, so you'll have a degree of maneuverability too. We're off to a good start. But here's the key question. What does Bastion's ability do? That's where things get interesting. Bastion's ability is called Blast Shield. When you activate it, a ring-shaped shield appears around you. So it's like a circular wall? That's right, but it's not a sphere, so you're still vulnerable to projectiles from above and mines from below. Good to know. Okay, how long does the shield last? There's no set duration. It'll keep protecting you and any allies behind you until your opponents destroy it. And it's pretty durable, so it'll take them a while. How tough are we talking here? They'll have to do 40k damage to destroy it. Whoa, that's better than Juggernaut's shield. Ari's too, but it gets better. When the blast shield reaches zero, it explodes outwards in all directions. Okay, so this one is a sphere? That's right. It's a spherical blast with a 30 meter radius by default, although that can be increased with pilot implants. What's really cool though, is that this explosion deals damage and applies an EMP debuff to all enemies within that range. Oh wow! So even if the blast doesn't finish them off, they'll be incapacitated anyway. And the rest of the team can finish the job, exactly. Your opponent doesn't want to be close when that EMP blast goes off, so they're going to try to take Bastion down as quickly as possible. Which means Bastion draws the enemy's fire. Correct. And that keeps the heat off everyone else. Bastion leads the charge, depletes the enemy's ammo, and leaves them incapacitated. The rest of the team can follow up and finish off whatever's left. Okay, this thing sounds incredible. But what do I do if I see a Bastion lumbering towards me? For a start, don't get too close. You don't want to be there when that blast shield goes pop. Secondly, remember that the blast shield doesn't cover Bastion entirely. If you have the high ground, you can still hit it. It's also vulnerable to artillery, javelins, mines, and anything else that'll go over or under that circular wall. And I assume Guardian's System Crash will stop this ability in its tracks? That's right. System Crash immediately removes that blast shield and prevents the explosion. Once that shield is gone, the ability is on a pretty long cooldown, 16 seconds by default. So if you see it pop, that Bastion will be vulnerable for a while. Okay, good to know. Finally, remember that Bastion is a tank. When it comes to movement speed, it's no kill shot. If you're in a faster mech, use your speed advantage to chase it down or stay out of its range, depending on the situation. Okay, that sounds reasonable. So let's say I get my hands on a Bastion. What weapons would you recommend? With an ability like the Blast Shield, you'll want to try and get as close to the enemy as possible. After the EMP blast, you may be surrounded by incapacitated mechs. So close quarters weapons like shotguns or arc torrents would be a great pick. What about a shiny new minigun? That's an awesome option as well. With an optimal range of up to 65 meters on the minigun, you do need to be pretty close. Just be aware of the long reload time. Coupled with the cooldown on the blast shield, your bastion could be left defenseless for a while. What about guided weapons? Javelins, for example. I wouldn't count on javelins so much. If the enemy's close, you may find it difficult to get yourself into a firing position. Disc launchers are much more versatile, though, and could work well. Well, it sounds like I need a bastion on my squad. I knew you'd love it. And I'm sure others will too. Thanks for the thorough explanation. I hope you guys found this spotlight useful as well. As usual, don't forget to hit like, tell us what you think of Bastion in the comments, and subscribe to our channel to keep an eye on the latest Mech Arena updates. See you next time. Bye.